Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. This is the Boundary Beauty Show broadcasting live in Dallas, Texas. Who do I have in the studios with me? You have Dr. Gervais Gerstner in New York City. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Dr. Gervais, what do you know that my audience needs to know today? Well, what you need to know is that May is Melanoma Awareness Month. This is the month to get the word out to your friends and family that they really need to pick up their sunscreen for the summer. Summer's coming, and you really can protect yourself from skin cancer by just wearing sunscreen. That sounds really simple, but I saw the statistic says most of us are not putting it on right, not putting on enough exactly. right. Exactly. So. Yeah, the only 30% of us are even, uh, women are actually even putting it on. It's really just important to go and try out a couple formulations. Find one that you like, because if you like it, then you'll wear it. And you really want a SPF, a 30 for day-to-day, -day, that has a good UVA and a UVB coverage. Okay. So you got to find the right sunscreen for you. Exactly. Uh, it, There's so many of them out there. I, you know, I personally use the L'Oreal Bright Reveal, and it's SPF 30. It goes on elegantly. I put it on underneath my makeup. But, but you may like a different one. You may like a different texture. So definitely find one that you like, because if you like it, you'll wear it. That is very true. That's the key to it. So, Dr. Melanoma has become a public health crisis in the United States. Could you talk a little bit about that? Definitely. It's definitely on the rise. And I always hate being the Debbie Downer with my patients, but it gets their attention. The number one killer, cancer killer, of women under 40 is melanoma. So it's, but it's definitely preventable. We can prevent it by preventing the sun, sunburn and wearing our sunscreen. And also early detection. You need to not only check yourself, but in, get into the dermatologist once a year for a total body exam. Okay, you say wear sunscreen daily, every day? Every day, even in the in February winter. You know, I, I bet in Dallas you've had a lot of rain, I know. So even on a rainy day, through the clouds, you get UV damage. Okay, Dr. J uh, you're a L'Oreal Paris consulting dermatologist. W what are you seeing that's wanting you to talk about this more? Well, melanoma is on the rise, and I want to get the message out there so that we can prevent skin cancer and save lives. So L'Oreal Paris has partnered with the Melanoma Research Alliance, and they've given almost a million dollars so far, and they're going to continue to donate just to get the education out there, to get the word out there to, that we really need to protect our skin. Okay. What about, okay, I'm going to take a Twitter question, and this question yeah. is, um, I wear makeup every day. How does sunscreen would affect, how would sunscreen affect that? That's a great question. I get that almost every day. Many makeup companies now include sunscreen in their products. That does not count. I love that. That's an extra little bonus that your powder, your foundation, or your concealer has it. I want that to be the extra layer. I want you to have a baseline moisturizer, just a daily moisturizer that has your sunscreen in it as well. Okay, I'll take a t Facebook question, and this question is, my kids are very fair-skinned and very fair in their hair coloring. Should they be wearing sunscreen? Definitely. And my own kids, I have two little blonde-haired kids, and I spray the sunscreen into their scalp because you can, you know, you sun, uh, skin cancer can happen right on that part line. So you definitely want to, you know, if they won't wear a hat, obviously you would love for them to wear a hat too, but I use the sprays on their scalp. All right, then. 
Those are great questions. Thank you guys for chiming in from social media. What other things you want us to do uh, to follow a routine that will keep well keep the statistics of melanoma down? Well, you know, getting a good sunscreen, buying a pair of sunglasses. You know, you can get melanoma on the back of your eye. So a good pair of sunglasses so that you're not getting skin cancer on your eye. That's a great, easy thing to do for summer that you could do today. You could pick up the sunscreen today. You can pick up the sunglasses today. I'd never heard that, Doctor. That that's that's a great tip. We wear sunglasses for the vanity of it, I think, most time. <laughs> well, and that's, that's a true. great way. And and you know what, you make a good point. Vanity is a good angle with people. You know, you appeal to their vanity, you say, Look, wrinkles, brown spots, you know, sun's gonna cause those things and then you you know, then you get the you get them hooked that they need the sunscreen for their vanity and then, you know, they get this added bonus of preventing the skin cancer. Doctor, where would you send my audience online? Because they need to probably be more educated about melanoma because people have many misconceptions. I've done these shows before, you know, darker skinned people feel like they're immune from it and lighter skinned people feel like they're overly saturated with it and there are some misconceptions. Definitely. And, you know, what I always like to start with a comment, Bob Marley died of melanoma because it gets their attention. They say any skin race can get it. He had one on the bottom of his foot. It, it gets that it can happen to a celebrity, it can happen to dark skin, it can happen to anyone. So definitely that, that is a great point that you made, that it doesn't necessarily have to be that fair Scotch-Irish skin um, that you know, had a history of sunburns. It can be anyone. All right. Where would you send them on the web to find out more information? A great website. It's thatworthit.org. Thank you so much for talking about Thanks that. Thanks for having me.